So I'll be showing you one way to play games on Linux. This way is uh, basically virtualization and we'll be making a virtual guest with Gemu and the quest will be Windows 10. We'll pass our whole uh, graphics card to it so we can play Witcher 3 on Ultra settings. And that's about the same as native system, so there's pretty much no laws to the gameplay I've noticed. At least it feels like it would be running on just Windows. Currently what it's doing, it's using the processor to give Ubuntu the uh, graphical interface on the two monitors, but the GTX 970 is only hooked to the right monitor. So, when we start that up, it should change to Windows 10. I want to show you it. we can use Windows back and forth here. So now it's booting it up from a bash file. There's a couple of ways to do this. Probably the easier way that I not, didn't use is through Librat, as you get a nice graphical uh, use face uh, at the end of it. But as I already found a tutorial on how to do it with the bash file, I ended up doing it that way. I'm also using Synergy to get my keyboard and mouse on the Windows system. So if you don't want to use Synergy, I don't know how it will work, but with LibWord it seems to also work pretty well. This way not so much. Also, most of what's happening in this video will be in the description as in tutorials. It, this will be mostly just showing of what it can do. So now we have Windows 10 running and our mouse can move between Windows just fine. Let's see how the task manager is looking. using about 50% of the disk, since these systems are on the same disk. You can give it a whole new hard drive, and I've done that with my Windows 8 system, but for showing this Windows 10, I'll just be using the same hard drive. Looking just fine. So, let's launch with 3. be playing Witcher 3 with Ultra settings and I'll be also recording with DxTorre. Uh, DxTorre though we can't launch it before Witcher 3 since there's some problem with the tools of Torre as it will crash if you open DxTorre first. So let's just wait until Witcher 3 starts. Okay, there we go. And now we can open DX Torre. Also, if you end up using Synergy, it'll uh, take a while to move mouse between windows each time the user account control pops up. And which of it will. Oh well, let's see if it will crash. Oh, does the extra want to work? Oh, it didn't crash much. So now it's showing 60 FPS, but with Ultra and GTX 970, it'll be about 
40 to 50 FPS. Of course, if you put uh, the settings down to high, it should be running at 60 FPS, no problem. So here we go. And just to show off the settings. Options, video. First of all, okay, I, I'm using sharpening on low since I didn't like it how it looked on uh, high and SSAO since I don't really know how an ambient occlusion works. Graphics though, ultra all the way. And we are running at about 40 FPS, 47. Now uh, let's start the extory and it's recording at about 45. It's recording to a different hard drive though. That's to keep in mind. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. Keeping pretty steady 47 FPS, a bit higher sometimes. 45, okay. Fair enough. just show you what happens when we close Windows 10. So now that we close it, it should give the monitor back to Ubuntu, so it can use it again. It doesn't do it automatically, so you have to, in my case, include a line in the bash file. In the case of Libreworth, I think it's even automatic, I don't know. Okay, this time it worked. That's what's supposed to happen, but... I don't know, it got got caught in updating or something I guess could be that but anyways now we can do this again and it's all in Ubuntu now nothing's using the graphics card anymore and that's about it I'll put some tutorials and my startup file in the description